The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. <laughs> Fake address. Okay, we're gonna go for it. Look. Shit! Good morning. All right, I assume that flag that that flag better be pointing me toward Gene Archer. Okay, it is. Good. 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 Don't want to lose her. All right, all right, I'm working on it. Hey, come on, you, you know you know how insane of a driver I am. We'll be there in no time. I got this down. Hey, okay, yep, yeah, siren, siren. Got to start using the siren. Oh, wow, I actually didn't even need to get in the car. Probably good that I did, though. Oh, is that her? Is that her in the window? Hey, LAPD. what are those pants? God damn it. Everyone's against me. Hey, look, what is that hat? What is that shirt? What is that everything? You look sweet. How about giving a girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. Yeah, you're not getting off easy this time, sweetheart. Especially not with that outfit. Seriously, what is... I think a leprechaun would be, a, be embarrassed to have that get up. The car you sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. Uh, fake address. Okay, we're gonna go for it. Look. Shit! This is all just a big mistake. God damn it. I, I thought about. I was on to something with just that one. let me go. Alright, association with Belasco. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? You're lying. James Belasco. I don't remember mentioning his first name, Miss Archer. Oh, I... Oh, yeah, shit. Did, you? Well, I'm sure. Girl, y'all done anyway, fucked up. I don't know him. Oh, you're full of it. Uh, but what exactly do I use to uh, prove that? Uh, Coombs Auto Bill of Sale. Check for used vehicle. Uh, no. Oh, Belasco's ownership papers. That could be it. It goes to the same fake address. Uh, yeah, that looks... Yeah, I got it! Alright, I was actually on the right track that time. share the same address on your pink slips. We have him in a cell. Okay, so I know the creep. The pink slips are real. The home addresses are always vacant lots. Bigelow is always boasting that the paperwork is legit and that if we stick to our stories... And don't try and sell the car? Yeah, that too. What do you want me to say? I'm fucking stupid. Pink slips are real. The home addresses are always vacant lots. Bigelow is always... Bo Who is Bigelow? Okay, Bigelow is always boasting that the paperwork is legit and that if we stick to our stories... And don't try and sell the car. Okay. Interesting. Stolen auto courier. Tell me where you picked up the car, Miss Archer. Look, I, I can't remember. Let me go, will you? Please. What have I got to do? Uh, start telling the truth? You're lying. You remember just fine. And how exactly do you know that? Uh, oh shit. Is this the information I would have had if I had, uh, talked to, if I had gotten that one question right with, uh, what's his face, Belasco? Oh, shit. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that. Uh. Alright. I think we're just gonna have to doubt her. Or bad cop or whatever. Trying my patience. Oh, here. oh, I got it, I got it. I'll have the reporters down here and have your picture in all the papers. You'll have nowhere to run. All right, already. I get the message. I pick up the cars from a guy named Bigelow. 
58 Industrial Street. Big warehouse full of goons. Now you've got what you want. Can I go? Please? Oh, you're sure. Oh, yeah, you just admitted to being part of an auto theft racket. Of course you're free to go. Some career advice, Gene. Get out of crime. Marry someone boring who has money and will find you captivating. Is this guy for real? He takes a little getting used to, but yeah, he generally means what he says. <laughs> I love Cole there, just like, yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Okay. So we got her on, so we got her on one charge of auto theft and uh, one charge of crime against fashion. All right. So I guess we could uh, go check out Bigelow, but first I guess we better check out the printing company one more time. Now that we've gotten like the proper, now that we've gotten like the proper cue to go check him out. Uh, I'm gonna drive this time just in case a street crime happens. Oh, so Bukowski might have a thing to say. Oh, look at that! Didn't hit any cars. I'm getting better. That's a problem. That's not what people came here to see. Getting her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. <laughs> what is your type, Phelps? I marry her. Justice. Justice is my type. You're dead inside, are you? Wait. Scrap that second half of the question. Ah. I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah! The man is human after all. Now we're getting some Nothing that likes boobs I'm could be inhuman. Brunettes are fine too, and there's nothing wrong with a good bread. <laughs> yeah, draw the line at bread. You know what? I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining a free market. A man with high standards. <laughs> the standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. Wow. Man. Dropping truth bombs, and he's, like, brutally honest. Jesus, Cole! Eh, bit of a delayed reaction there, isn't it? Crashed that car a while ago. Okay. That's weird that they're not... I, I guess because I already, uh... Came up to this place. And the door's still open! Amazing. Hey, we need to talk to you again. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. Okay. Knowledge of theft racket. Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? Okay, can I prove that he's lying? I'm gonna bad cop him, and if I get it wrong, then I know that I was supposed to uh, accuse him with the pink slips. We have suspects with Aha. legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightfall. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. Oh, really? We have used car lots for selling blank documents to a criminal organization. Okay. All right, what else can you tell us? You better fucking give us something, asshole. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. Oh, really? Um... Hmm... Okay... Uh, the pink slips... Nobody's mentioned Lightfall up to now. Hang on, what's his face? <laughs> what's his face? Alright, what did he say specifically? No, they do not. Uh, bad cop. Harrison bought yeah. his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds familiar. I think they may oh, now have been involved huh? in stolen documents in the past. Oh, really? Coombs Auto Deliveries. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightball? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. 
Oh, really? Are you absolutely sure? Alright, hang on. What do I... What do I accuse him of here? I think you're deliberately hiding those records, Lightball. Cough them up! I'm sorry. What evidence do you have for that? Uh, okay. He, see, he seemed genuinely taken aback by that. So, I think I'm on the right track. I'm on the wrong track. I, I was mistaken. Uh, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, do you have delivery ledger, Mr. Lightfall? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Uh, should I good cop? I feel like, I feel like the game wants me to bad cop. Ah, uh, well, hang on. Fuck it, bad cop it again. Hand it over, Lightball. Oh, yeah. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well, but this really is irregular. Oh, Over here. holy shit, I'm actually doing good with investigations this time around. This is amazing. I'm so happy this is on film. I'm proving once and for all that I actually know what I'm doing. names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. All right. Uh, 58 Industrial Street. Yeah, 58 Industrial Street keeps coming up. Oh, S. Bigelow, here we go. You certainly encourage repeat business, Lightbulb. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Okay, then. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. All right. We got even more evidence for the guys at the warehouse. Awesome. Let's do this shit. And once again, I'll drive there because we haven't had a street crime yet. We, we, we gotta shoot somebody at least once today. Don't want to get bored on the job. Okay, so after driving down the longest, straightest road in history for about a few hours, we're finally here. Maybe we should call for a couple of black and whites. We can flesh down here. I thought you Marines were gung ho, Cole. You have a 45. Don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Come on, you're Maybe a video game protagonist. What do you have to fear? All right. Oh, that's right, she did say warehouse full of goons, so... Could very well be trouble in here. Cole Phelps, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. Oh, well, you fired first! I'm officially free to do whatever the hell I want. Throw out the guns. Alright. That was easy enough. Find these barrels. Alright, where are you at? Come on, pop your heads up. Boom! Boom, boom, boom! Alright. Hey, whoa! Well, you're gung ho as hell, aren't you? Oh, god damn it! What a fuck of a time to reload. Alright, so we didn't have any street crimes, but looks like we get to shoot somebody today. One up. There we go. Weapons on the ground! Now. Jesus, is this really worth a couple of stolen cars, guys? Really think about this. Alright. Anybody else? God damn it! Oh shit! Oh, there's someone over there! Fuck! God damn it. I should actually look at that minimap down there. Might help just a bit. Bastard. Oh, there he is. Give it up, chump. I know you're yeah, get him while he's reloading. Oh, I see you. Yeah, you're not moving to cover while I'm around. Right, is that everybody? Let's clear the top floor. I don't want to get drilled in the back of the way out. I hear that. Kowski's playing it like I play Fallout. Just kill, just explore the entire area and Where kill everyone. Oh, god damn it! Of all the ways this game decides to be realistic, it's by not having an ammo counter. Actually, is there a way to reload? I think th there should be, right? Ah, oh, whatever. A little too late to figure that out now. 
Try the door at the end. I heard something. All right. Hey, oh, not this door apparently. All right, all right, don't shoot. Bang, 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 bang. Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. Okay. Oh, so we're gonna search the warehouse now. I can do that. Okay. Marquee Printing. Ah! Marquee Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. Interesting. Okay. And what are these over here? Betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak. Oh, really? Ah, I see. It seems Mr. Lightfall was getting into the business of selling stolen cars to get out of some gambling debts. How about them apples? Alright, what else you hiding, asshole? More marquee printing company there stuff. Slips here to the box of pink slips. Christmas. We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck. But I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I do work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. I can't give you anything. It, 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 we killed all your dudes. You're gonna give us the shit? We know about Marky Printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. Oh, really? Don't lie to me. I'm not in the mood for any more lies. The slips are the real deal, and I order them from Marquis. Oh, really? Okay, hang on, hang on. All right, I think I'm supposed to use the delivery note here. Oh, Fuck! Mouthpiece. The organization employs a very good one. Does a great job of keeping Mickey C out on the streets. Eh, be that way. Whether you give up your bosses or not, Bigelow, you're going away for as long as I can put you there. We'll see. I didn't fire a shot, Kappa. I just watched you tear my place up. All right. Oh, uh, was I supposed to use the betting slips? Is that what that was? Fuck. Okay, I'm a little nervous. I don't know if I did good there or not. Oh, nope. Okay. We're going to apprehend Gordon now. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. What the hell is going on? Thank you for listening to KTI Radio. California and the West Coast with music. What a mess. Ugh, gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, we shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire hey, the face cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and pleads innocence the next. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Especially when he's surrounded by evidence. But guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency or greed. It's always one of the two that brings them down. All right. Phelps and Bukowski wax waxing uh, poetic on, the na on uh, what makes a criminal. Very interesting commentary. Interesting commentary that I can't add to because I am not an intelligent person. Alright. Pull right in. Gordon, you're coming with us. Like, now-ish. This is like the third time we've been here. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. Oh, is it now? Deliveries to Industrial Street. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightball. I signed for all the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. 
Oh, but I do. Save it, Lightball. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. Oh, shit. Wait, do I use the delivery note or the, be or the betting slips? Alright, delivery note seems like the best bet. What, you're doing what the fuck?! Is detective, and you'll be hearing from Get my the fuck out of here! How is that not right?! Gordon Lightball, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. That was nonsense! Now where shall I start? With the two GTA suspects we had to let walk free? Or with a female suspect who I am reliably told slipped the leash with embarrassing ease? You just lost the chance to crack one of the biggest criminal operations in this city. Well, fuck you! That should have been what it was. I guess it was the betting slips. my balls in a frying pan! Now get out there and fill some charge sheets. Misdemeanors if you have to. Get me something before I even think about giving you another case. Fucking A. So wait, did th Okay. Now I admit this is partly because I'm a little salty. But I'm gonna quit out and reload this part. Because... I want to see if the entire case literally hinged on getting that one thing right. So hang on. Or I call my attorney. Okay, okay. Betting slips, betting slips, betting slips. Let's do this. Hopefully. Either that or it's the boxes with pink slips. I'm going to go with betting slips. You're in the hole with the organization? Yes, okay. We know about the debts, Lightball. I agree. I have a small problem. I'm prepared to help you in any way I can, Detective. I'll name names. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need... You need to shut up now, Lightball. Okay, I guess I should have... Gordon Lightball, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. Okay, I guess I should have been able to pick that up from the fact that he said, like, I sign all the orders. The LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft. Yeah, no, the entire case hinged on whether or not I got that one question right. Oh, here it is. Traffic squad detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen dead criminals were removed from the scene. The LAPD sustained no casualties. Damn fine work, Phelps. Now get out there and nail some more bad guys, will you? Hey, Bukowski deserves some readings. credit, too. Yeah, wow, the case really did hinge on that. Well, they would have figured that out anyway, I assume. I'm not the only cop on the beat here. What even was that? Yeah, I went from two stars to four. Wow. One question is really enough to fuck you over in this game, apparently. Damn. Okay. Well, lesson learned on that one. Is this how the story ends? Try again, kid. One more time. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Show's over.